Hello there everyone and welcome. This is the second video that shows you how you can create a complete, fully responsible multi-page e-commerce website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript step by step from scratch. In the first video, we have just created the home section of this responsible multi-page e-commerce website and then we have just made that page responsible for any device using media query. I put that video link inside this video description. So go ahead and watch that video first. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create the product section for this e-commerce website. Having this, let's jump right into the video. So, here we have the product page. Alright, now let's jump right into it. Before that, over here, here we have the home section, over here, we are going to add the link directory right here. So, over here, we are going to say home. Over here, we are going to say product.html. After a moment, we are going to create this file right here. After that, for about us, we say about us.html for blog. We are going to create blog.html document for contact page. We are going to create contact.html and for cart page, we are going to create cart.html. So, over here, here we have the file right here. So, over here, now we are going to create product.html another document on the theme directory right here here we have now what we are going to do is we are going to copy everything from index.html right here so copy this let me collapse it and then copy this after that come over here and then paste right here so now what we are going to do is we are going to erase we are going to remove unnecessary sections from here so over here here we have the first section the hero section remove this service section it's not necessary right Again, this section is also, it is not necessary, right? Remove it. Let me collapse it. Here we have the, the, new, the new arrival product section. So again, remove this banner section. And after that, as you can see here, here we have cannot get product.html. So here we have the home page. And when I click this product page, when I click this product navigation menu, it should redirect you to the product page of this e-commerce website. So here we have the product page of this e-commerce website. So now, here we have newly arrival product, here we have big sale, here we have a newsletter, and now, here we have big sale, and here we have page header, right? Here we have the footer section. So, over here, Over here, what we are going to do is, here we have the link directory. When I click the home navigation menu, it should redirect you 
to the home page of this e-commerce website. The home page is index.html document. That's why we give the value for the href attribute index.html. Oh yeah, over here we are going to change the image right here. Let me say here we have the image. After that, when I save and refresh the web page again, here we have. Yep. Over here, we have this section right here, new arrival. Now, remove this id value is not necessary right so now change this id into product right yeah after that when i click these products it should redirect you to the product section of this website that's why we say the id value products so over here it is not necessary right remove it from here, the ID value should be the value for the HRIP attribute, right? So, when I click these products, it should redirect you the product section of the website. You see, here we have, right? Over here, we are going to add a class name right here let me say product section and then remove this new arrival class name and over here remove this big cell new discount right here it is not necessary right yeah that's it after that when I save and refresh the web page, here we have. All right. All right. Outside of this development, have a class name product container. We are going to create another development, have a class name. Let me say all products. Inside this, we are going to nest this element right here we say all products and then down here we are going to create a select option right here so to do this we use this select element inside this select element we are going to nest different options right here using option element right here so option then let me say sort by price sort by size sort by rating and over here let me say sort by type and over here newly arrival products newly arrival after that when I save and refresh the web page, here we have right. So from here you can select products by its price, by its type, and many more. So now let me style this using so here we have all products styling. So using this class name right here, all product, then we are going to add some property value pair. So for this display flex, align items, center, justify content, space between. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have, right? Here is it. Padding zero three pixel three rim two rim after that 
here we have when I said and refresh here is it yeah now let me style this all products so to do this we use descendant selector right here all products which is a class selector and which is the element selector h3 font size for this h3 element which is found inside the div element how many class name all products we have 2.53 so when i save and refresh here we have after that copy this and then paste right here now let me style the text which is found inside the span element so over here we are going to change the text color right here so color we are going to use this secondary text color refresh here we have after that now let me style this select option so to do this we use this select element right here and add some property value pair we have background we use background color right here bg color and border we use to pixel solid secondary text color and padding from top and bottom and from left and right to pixel and three pixel respectively so here we have yep it's good over here again we are going to target this element select element and then we use this pseudo class selector focus and outline for this none after that here we have that's pretty nice You can select product by price, by size, by size, and newly arrival. Over here, text transform capitalized. So here is it. Refresh again. Here we are. All right. We have just finish this section right here let me collapse it collapse it again collapse it again collapse I remove these products here we have so when I save and refresh the web page here we have just added more products right here so remove this, this is not necessary after that when I save and refresh here we have alright we have just added more products right here since this is the product page of the website so we have just added many more products over here so down here we are going to create next page scrolling page scrolling button right so to do this we are going to create a div element have a class name 
right here you can assign any name as you want right so over here we need to have a spanning limit right here one two three four and over here we are going to need we need to have right arrow right here here we have the HTML code for right arrow you can google it so after that when i save and refresh here we have the html part one two three four and right arrow right here now let me style this using this class name right here meridian 50 pixel and auto and then zero text align center after that save and refresh remove the zero is not necessary right we made a mistake over here so when i save and refresh here we have this is on the center of the web page right after that now using this spanning level selector let me style by adding some property value pair so padding 5 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right having text color right here we use this secondary color secondary text color right here and over here we are going to use this border so border to pixel solid we use having such color right here and font size let me say 1.3 which is 1.2 times the global font size which is 60 pixels so cursor pointer so here we have all right after that now let me add some hover over effect right here so color for when i hover then the text color should change right into bg color and then the background color should be changed into this secondary text color after that over here we are going to add a smooth transition 0 0.5 second is yup when i save and refresh the web page here we have font weight let me increase the font weight to 800 Here is it. Here is it. Let me change the text color right here. We use this main color. Here we are. Now, let me show you whether this product page responsible for any device or not so as you can see here this product page is responsible for small device so here we have all right guys all right guys we have just all right guys congratulations we have just created 
the product page of this responsible multi-page e-commerce website so in the next video we are going to create an about us page of this responsible e-commerce website if this content is valuable please make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell icon to be notified while i come out a daily training video just one with that being said thank you for watching i will see you in the next part of this video stay blessed and stay safe